Right, so we're doing a another tier list today. Uh, we're doing legendary skins in this one. Obviously, all the ones with unique looks to them. Not every legendary skin, because we went through every legendary skin. There's no point, because a lot of them won't have the uniqueness to them. So let's get right into this. So, obviously, one of the P90s legendaries. Personally, I never liked this one. Um, mainly because the other one that they had, I think it was Oil Spill, was customizable. This P90 was uncustomizable, obviously. It was a unique variation of it. And obviously it's going to sit in B tier for me. <clears throat> the Anarcho S tier. It's the Anarcho. It's the most expensive skin in Payday 2. What else is there to really say? Sorry, what's going on? Um, I think that's the lever action. That comes with... Yeah, that's the lever action. Um, it was a unique skin. It was actually really cool. Um... I didn't really like. The, oh, I was to be fair. I'm gonna say this. I really didn't like the lever action. Oh, yeah, I like the gun. Never really liked the legendary. Um, so that's gonna go out here. The I forgot. I think that's um, the DMR M16. I don't actually remember. But I'd go out here because that's actually a really nice skin as well. The Renfield legendary. It's just Bodie's tattoos or masks on a Renfield with a wooden grip. It's really not the best. The Hawkson House Warming Shotgun. Eh, that's a B. It looks really nice. To be fair, in my eyes it looks nice. The Legendary Platypus skin. I do really like it. I like the Legendary Platypus. It has a goat on it at the end of it. Really nice. Flamethrower Mark 1. Also a really nice skin. Because it's a bloody dragon on it, I'm pretty sure. The RPG. The, the rocket has a smile on it. The... I think that's the KSP legendary. That's, that's another nice one. Obviously. A tier. The bootleg. Didn't really like it that much. Wasn't really unique. Deagle. It's alright. I like the Deagle skin, but not, not as much as I was going to expect. The M308. What ruins it? It's not customizable. Like, I think it would be a good skin if it was customizable. Well, obviously. It's unique. Models tierless, so you know that's gonna go in D tier. Cross kill that was unique. Nah, I really like that. The Raven shotgun, I did really like the color scheme, just made it perfect. The completely overkill minigun S tier, that's a really cool skin. And the Russian AK skin, a B tier because I kind of like that skin personally. Any of the skins from A tier to S, from S to A, were alright. B is a possibility I would pick them up if they were cheap. C is obviously cheap. D is also cheap. Fun enough, the M308 is the cheapest one. So, yeah. Anyway, if you liked this video, please do hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see everyone in the next video. Goodbye.